hi guys welcome back to my channel as you guys saw in the title i am going to be sharing with you guys my fragrance blind by regrets these are fragrances that primarily youtube made me buy um you know most likely somebody that i watch on YouTube or just the fragrance being hyped in general around the fragrance community. Things of that nature that I find um, aren't my favorites or I feel like I probably wouldn't have purchased had I tested them beforehand. Um, the fragrances that I'm going to be showing you guys, they are, you know, just because they're in this video does not mean that I don't like them. Some of them I do like, I just don't love them, or I feel like they may not have been worth the price that I paid for them. Or like I said, if I had tested them on my skin before purchasing a full bottle of it blindly, I probably would not have bought them. So yeah, with that being said, I'm not trying to offend anybody. If these are fragrances that you love, then I'm glad that you love them. You know, they need love too. <laughs> They just didn't work for me based off of maybe my skin chemistry or just based off of the fragrance, you know, me not liking the fragrance of the, the scent of the actual fragrance. So yeah, with that disclaimer out the way, I feel like I give disclaimers in every video. <laughs> I know it's annoying to some, but I feel like in some videos they're necessary like this one, because I don't want you guys to think that I'm dissing your favorite fragrance. I just, they didn't work for me. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump right in. I do have some that I have gotten rid of. Um, so I don't have the actual bottle of it here in my possession. So when I talk about those, I'll just leave a picture of the fragrance up on the screen so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, but as usual, I'm just gonna tell you guys what this will link to me. I may read the notes on some of these if I have like trouble describing how they smell to me but for the most part i'm just gonna try to explain what they smell like to me <laughs> um so the first one i have here uh it shouldn't be a surprise to you guys if you watch my um celebrity fragrance video i told you guys in that video that i am not a fan of this particular fragrance and this fragrance is Fancy Love by Jessica Simpson. I purchased it unboxed on Fragrance Lint, so it came without the top. That's why it doesn't have a top. But that's just what the bottle looks like. This is a 50 ml bottle. And I just can't, I don't know. There's something about this fragrance that I really do not like. The champagne note in this smells like a brute champagne in my opinion and i've tried to wear the skin after that video because i tried to give it a chance i kept it for a while because you know sometimes you may not like a fragrance initially but eventually you like you uh grow to like the fragrance and so i was thinking that that may happen with this particular fragrance but that did not um like i said the champagne note in this smells like a brute champagne so it's very dry um, this doesn't have a whole lot of sweetness to me. It is musky as well, and the musk in this is not my favorite musk. Um, it smells kind of like stuffy on my skin. And it's also very strong, so I will give it that. It has great performance. The projection is out of this world which in my case is unfortunate because I don't like the scent. But on me, it kind of um, it gives me a headache as well. So I don't like the fragrance and it gives me a headache. This is one of the ones that I just don't like. That's why it was a fail or a blind buy regret because I just, this fragrance doesn't work for me. I don't like it at all. So yeah, that is Fancy Love by Jessica Simpson. So next fragrance I have here, I like it. I just, um, had I tested it beforehand, I just wouldn't have purchased it because I don't feel like I need it. And this is, uh, what is this? Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. Yeah. And here's what the bottle looks like. I just recently got this one. 
I had, it's been on my list for the longest, but I just didn't feel like I needed it. And I should have just <laughs> went with my first mind and not got it because I didn't, I didn't need this. Um, I like it. It's, it smells better from the bottle and uh, when I spray it on my skin, it smells better close up than the scent that it projects. But for some reason, I'm finding that fragrances that have a sandalwood note, my skin tries to amplify the sandalwood note. And I'm finding that I'm not a big fan of sandalwood as a note in fragrances, which is another unfortunate thing. So now I have to be like super careful about fragrances that have sandalwood in them as a note. So yeah, this has a sandalwood note in it. And I wanted this because I wanted that syrupy, sticky, sweet, caramel scent. I was really looking forward to that. And I actually, when I spray this on my skin, like if I sniff the area where I sprayed it, I do get that caramel scent. But the scent that it projects is overly sandalwood on me. And I'm just not, I'm not a fan of it. Um, but I, I mean, I do like this. I will probably try to layer this with some of my sweeter fragrances to hopefully get a bit more of that caramel on my skin that everybody else seems to get on theirs. But yeah, and I got the, the largest bottle too. I got the 100 ml bottle, but I, I'm i a type that I'll purchase the 100 ml bottle if I feel like um, it's a better deal than just getting the 50 ml. But um, yeah, that is Vigla Juicy Gold Tour. I do like this one, but had I tested it beforehand, I would not have bought it. So the next fragrance I have here, you guys have already seen and know how I feel about it as well. Um, it goes back and forth unfortunately but I think I've determined that I do not like this fragrance and this is one that a lot of people love and it's very rave here on YouTube as well and this is Rebel Fleur by Rihanna here's what the bottle looks like I purchased it as a tester as well so I don't have the cap and this is the 100 ml bottle as well and y'all this has a two rose note in it and I think I told you guys, I'm pretty sure I told you guys before, but me and tuberose do not get along. If a fragrance has a super strong tuberose note in it, I, I can't. I just cannot with it. And for me, the tuberose note in this is like super amplified on my skin. It overwhelms, it overwhelms me and it takes over the fragrance in my opinion. It kind of like, um you know, prevents me from being able to enjoy and smell the other notes in this fragrance. Uh, and then the two rows note in this, which can sometimes happen on my skin with two rows, on my skin, the two rows note in this fragrance kind of turns like urine-like, and it's not, so, well, obviously, who wants to smell like pee? <laughs> but it's, it's not pleasant at all on my skin. Um, I just, I can't, I can't with it. And it's another one that has great performance. The projection is amazing. The longevity is good. Yeah, if you like this fragrance, then I, that's great. You know, if you like it, then I would just, I would wear it because of the projection and the longevity in itself. But this is another one that gives me a headache. Two rows as a note gives me a headache when it's too strong in the fragrance. So yeah, this is a fragrance that I don't like and it was a fail <laughs> blind by regret definitely so another celebrity fragrance that i have that um didn't work out for me is Katy perry's mad love here's what that looks like and this one didn't work out for the same reason that the the La juicy gold couture kind of bothers me it has a um, very prominent sandalwood note on my skin. Like the fragrance I don't hate is just when it's on my skin, it kind of amplifies that sandalwood note, even with it just misting on my hand, I smell it. Yeah, I'm me and sandalwood. I just, I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna be like a love hate thing. Sandalwood to me, in case you guys don't, um, know what it smells like. In my opinion, sandalwood is like this. It's, it smells woody, of course, but it's like a spicy wood scent. <laughs> My face probably said it all right. 
But yeah, it's um, I feel like if you like sandalwood, then you will really enjoy this scent because if you like sweet scents and you like sandalwood scents, you would like this. It's like a creamy, um, sweet sandalwood scent. It has a coconut note in it as well, which I think helps to um, give it that creaminess and that sweetness. It had a lot of great notes and I was like, I was very, you know, I was uh, looking forward to getting this fragrance because of the notes in it. I'm actually gonna look the notes up, hold on. I wanna tell you guys what is actually in here. Okay, so the, the top notes are Lady Apple Sorbet, Mara Strawberry, and Pink Grapefruit. The heart notes are Bleeding Heart Flower, whatever that is. <laughs> Peony and Jasmine, and the base notes are musk, sandalwood, and coconut. So yeah, on my skin, what I get most is the sandalwood note, and then I get that coconut note as well. So like I said, if you like sandalwood as a note, I think you would enjoy this fragrance. If you like sweet fragrances and you like sandalwood, you'd like this. Um, sweet, creamy sandalwood fragrance. You know, I don't hate it, but had I tested it beforehand, I would not have bought it. So yeah, that's Katy Perry's Mad Love. So the next fragrance I have here is highly raved about on YouTube and just in the fragrance community in general. Just about everyone I've seen talk about this loves it. And I happen to be in the minority, I guess. I don't dislike it, I just don't love it. <laughs> um, I don't, do I like it? I don't dislike it. I think, okay, I think I can say I like it, but it's not, it's not my favorite. And had I tested it beforehand, I would not have purchased it. But this is Alien Essence Absolute <laughs> by Thierry Mugler, and this is the refill bottle, so that's why it looks like that. And it's half full because I have decanted it into a, another bottle. But I think the reason why I was disappointed with this fragrance is because, I don't know, I had a, you know how sometimes when you're looking at, if you're blind, blind fragrances like me, you kind of look at notes and you read reviews and then you come up in your mind with like how you think a fragrance will smell. And so you kind of like create false expectations for the fragrance. And that's kind of what I did, I think. So when I got this and it didn't smell how I was like imagining that it smelled, it kind of disappointed me. But um, if you have or you have smelled Alien, you can tell that this is an Alien flanker. It does have the Alien DNA. And I personally prefer the original Alien to this flanker. Um, and I honestly don't love the original Alien. You know they say it's polarizing and that you either love or you hate it. And I'm kind of like in the middle <laughs> with Alien. I like it. I just don't love it or hate it, you know? Um, I don't have a full bottle of Alien. I have a... Uh, travel spray of Alien because I didn't feel like I needed a full bottle of it because like I said I don't love it I don't feel like I want it in my collection that's one of the first I tested out beforehand and decided that I just want a travel spray of it um I do have a dupe of Alien that I love I don't want to share it with you guys yet because you can't purchase it right now because they're out of stock but I will one day it's crazy it's an inspiration fragrance by Alien but I'm obsessed with it anyway that's beside the point this has the Alien DNA so I guess I shouldn't be surprised that I don't love it because, I mean, it's an alien flanker. I don't love alien, why would I love this? But I thought like the, I thought the vanilla notes in it would help me to enjoy it more. And I kind of expected it to be sweeter than it is. It's actually like, it's in, um, it's like alien with vanilla extract and some type of note that makes it smell that has like a menthol like scent and i've never heard anybody say that but yeah it, it has a menthol like scent <laughs> to me and on my skin and it's not 
my favorite. It's not my favorite. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. It may grow on me in the future, but as of right now, and based off what I paid for, because you know people are over, they're overcharging for this fragrance right now. And I was like, yeah, I had to have it. This was one of those fragrances that I just had to have, and I got it and I was disappointed. I would not have purchased this had I tested it beforehand. I like it, I don't love it, but I would not have purchased a little bottle of it. Um, like I said, hopefully it grows on me and I end up enjoying it more later on down the line. And also I did pick this up right now while it's like between 80 and 90 degrees outside. So that may play a factor in why I'm not a fan of this fragrance. Maybe I like it more when the weather is cooler. So hopefully that's the case. We'll see. The yeah, that is Alien Essence Absolute by Thierry Mugler. And another super hyped fragrance in the fragrance community. I like this fragrance, don't get me wrong, I do like it, but it is, it's another one that was just not what I was expecting and I could have done without it. I would not have purchased it had I tested it beforehand. Um, this is Van Cleef and Arpels Orchidae Beneath. And here's what that looks like. As you can see, I do use it. Now, this is one of those fragrances I kind of just kind of at this point, I've been wearing it to bed. <laughs> I have worn this out, and then when I the first time I wore it out, or that might have been the only time I ever wore it out, but I got a compliment, and I couldn't even smell it on myself. That ain't that's not why it's in this video. Um, it does play games like that on my skin. Like I'll spray it on, and then I can smell it initially, and then I don't smell anything but apparently other people around me can still smell it even when I don't smell it. It's a nice scent and I do like it, but it smells like, uh, to me, it smells like what vanilla extract would smell like if it came in a powdered form. So it's like a powdery vanilla extract type scent. The initial spray I really like, it, um, you still have that powdery vanilla extract type of scent, but it has this citrusy scent as well. I think the citrus scent is mandarin orange. I don't have the notes in front of me. But yeah, when you first spray it, I like that, and then it immediately dries down, and all I get is powdery vanilla extracts, which, you know, vanilla extract smells like vanilla, but it's not like a super sweet scent. There's not much sweetness at all in this fragrance, and it's probably why I'm not a huge fan of it. Y'all know I love sweet scents and just, it's like a dry vanilla scent. Um, so that sounds good to you, then I'd recommend picking it up. It is, the projection I'd say is soft. I overspray this one when I wear it. I do like wearing it to bed though, but I think this, I would not purchase this fragrance just to wear to bed because it's not an uh, inexpensive fragrance. This is, it's more on the pricey end. This is actually, if I'm not mistaken, Van Cleef & Arpels is a niche house. So, um, this fragrance, I think, retails for like $210. Of course, I did not pay that, thank God. But <laughs> I purchased this on FragranceNet, and I think I paid like 60 something dollars for it. Um, because it's a tested bottle, that's why it has this stickiness on the side, because I tried to rip the, the barcode off. But, yeah, I mean, I'm just, I was underwhelmed by this fragrance. So, this was... A blind buy regret. Had I tasted it beforehand, I would not have purchased it. So the next fragrance I have here is Gucci Flora by Gucci. And this is the Eau de Parfum. You guys have seen this. I believe I talked about it in my, um, what, did I, what, what was the name of that video? The designer fragrances with the uh, best projection. I think that was the video that this fragrance was in. And I like the scent. I do like it. Uh, when I paid for it, I don't think it was worth it. I think I paid almost $70 for this on Fragrance Net. And for the fragrance that it is, I'm, I would not have purchased that, purchased it for that price had I known beforehand what it smelled like. Uh, like I said in that previous video, it smells like a peach perfume type of fragrance. And 
I'm finding that I don't really like, I don't dislike peach in a fragrance, but I don't think I love it either. I think it's one of those notes that I have to be careful with because I'm not like a huge fan of a peach note in a fragrance. And it just smells like a peachy perfume scent. It's perfumey and peachy. And I noticed that that's a thing with the Gucci fragrances that I tried. Um, <laughs> they tend to have this perfumey sense about them. Like, you know, I know I'm wearing perfume, but I don't want to always smell like I'm wearing perfume, you know what I'm saying? Because that can become overwhelming even to myself. This fragrance, you don't need a whole lot of it. Um, you don't need to wear a whole lot of it. Uh, like I said in that video, it has great projection. And if you do wear a whole lot of it, it's gonna smell perfumey. Like I mentioned in that video, both times I've worn this, I don't know how many times I've worn it, but the times that I can remember wearing this, I've had uh, people ask me if I was wearing perfume. Like what? I always wear perfume, but when I wear this particular fragrance, people are saying, hey, are you wearing perfume? And it's not followed by, oh, well, I really like the perfume you're wearing. It's just like, are you wearing perfume? Oh, okay. So, <laughs> I don't know what that means. It sounds like they don't really like the perfume I'm wearing or it's just like a strong perfumey scent that, you know, is noticeable. So yeah, anyway, not my favorite. I like it, but had I smelled it beforehand, probably wouldn't have purchased it. At least not for that price. And maybe I would have purchased like a small bottle of it or wait it till the price decreased. But yeah, that's Gucci Flora by Gucci. So this one I got not too long ago. So I still have to get a few more wearings of this one in. I don't know how I feel about it yet, but it, I'm putting it in this video because it wasn't, I don't know what I was expecting, but it's not what I was expecting. <laughs> and this is Alien Flora Futura, right? Yeah, Flora Futura by Mugler. I love the bottle though, it's super cute. It's a light pink bottle. But yeah, um, people were saying that it doesn't um, smell like alien to me, like an alien flanker, but in the dry down, I find that I do get the, the alien DNA in it. I don't know why I keep trying alien flankers, knowing that I'm not a huge fan of alien anyway. I'm, this is kind of on me at this point, right? because I'm choosing to purchase these fragrances knowing that I don't even love the initial or the pillar fragrance. So it's kind of my fault, but yeah. And the dry down, it smells like alien, but I actually, the dry down I like is the initial spray. It's something about it. It has a different floral note in it. It's not jasmine. I can't remember what it is. It's like a cactus flower floral note, I think. I don't have that up in front of me. And this one, um, it smells kind of animalic to me initially. And I think that's what bothers me in this fragrance, that animalic sense. Yeah, and it's kind of like, initially it's kind of strong too. And I find that when I wear it on my skin, it kind of gives me a headache as well. Yeah, I just, I don't know about this. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's Alien Flora Futura. So now I'm going to talk about the fragrances that I've gotten rid of because I've gone through the ones that I have here in front of me. Um, hold on, let me see which ones they are because I, I made a list. <laughs> okay, so the next fragrance I'm going to talk about is another one that has been hyped in the fragrance community. And it just, I mean, I liked it, but it just... Uh, it wasn't my favorite. So the fragrance I'm talking about is Zara Rich Warm Addictive. I'll try to put a picture on the screen on one of these sides. Um, a lot of you guys probably have already smelled it or at least heard of it. Uh, it's very raved about in the fragrance community. And when I got the scent, I did like it. The projection on my skin wasn't as strong as I prefer, you know? Um, it was pretty soft, I'd say. It's more of like a skin scent, and I've seen that that seems to be a theme. Um, I mean, even with the fragrance reviews of people who liked it, they said it was more of like a skin scent. 
so it doesn't project the whole lot which is fine that's probably the the type of skin it is it's probably you know meant to sit closer to the skin and be more sensual but um that wasn't really the the biggest issue i had with it the main problem i had with it i think was the it's not even a problem because like i said i like the fragrance but i'm finding that i'm not a huge fan of tobacco notes and scents and i can smell the tobacco note in that fragrance it wasn't super strong or anything but it was just like the tobacco and the rum notes together i wasn't a huge fan of um on my skin i liked it you know it was sweet and tobacco-y and rummy <laughs> so it was like this sweet boozy tobacco fragrance on my skin but i just um it just wasn't my favorite and i felt like you know it deserved to go somewhere where uh it would be appreciated because i wasn't appreciating it the reason why i got rid of that one is because it just wasn't something that i was reaching for like i'll wear it to bed every now and then i think i wore it out like once but it wasn't just like my type of fragrance and people say it's unisex i feel like yeah it is um they say it's more feminine leaning but i don't think so i think it's uh like right in the middle it's a unisex fragrance uh, and on my skin i feel like it rang more masculine than feminine so yeah that is zara rich warm addictive so the next fragrance i don't have here with me is gucci bamboo eau de parfum and the same thing i mentioned with the gucci flora um like i said those are the only two gucci fragrances i think i've tried this far but it is a perfumey perfume i don't know it was something in that fragrance that whenever i wore it, it immediately triggered a headache and i just couldn't deal with it so i had to get rid of it but i did like the scent um you know it was a fragrance that i did not dislike but i didn't reach for it because i knew that as soon as i sprayed it on i would have a headache and i just can't i couldn't with it but it was like a sweet white floral scent sweet musky white floral scents. The musk in it was nice. I think it might have been the white florals, like the sweetness from the white florals and how strong the fragrance was because it did project well. I feel like those two aspects are probably what triggered the headache when I would wear it, but yeah, I, I couldn't. I, um, I got rid of that one and you know, I, I gave it to someone who I think would appreciate it more. She, said she's enjoying it so I sold it on Mercari and you know she said she liked the scent a lot so I'm glad that someone else is appreciating it more than I could have. Oh Versace Arrows Pore Femme EDP. <laughs> that is the only Versace fragrance thus far that I have not liked. I did not like that fragrance. I didn't like it. It's not one of these fragrances that I like, and I'm just like, oh, I wouldn't have purchased it had I tasted it beforehand. That one, I just, I, I didn't like it on my skin. Um, it was musky, and it had like this minty scent on my skin. I've never heard anybody say that either, but I don't know why, I don't know what notes would give it that mintiness, because when I was reading the notes, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna like this. It had like a lemon blossom note and they had lemon as a note. I like lemon as a note in the fragrance. So I'm like, oh yeah, this is gonna be nice. And then I already had the Versace Arrows Porfim EDT that I love and you guys know I love. So I was like, okay, I think it's, you know, it's pretty safe. I could buy this. I could buy this fragrance and be okay with it. I only purchased a 50 ml bottle, thankfully. <laughs> but, um, yeah that it really was it wasn't even the muskiness i think that bothered me it was the mintiness i don't think i like notes i mean i don't think i like fragrances that have a uh minty scent either i think that bothers me it's like with the alien essence absolute i was like menthol like it's like in the same category as like a minty uh fragrance and yeah i didn't like the mintiness of it so i got rid of it it just wasn't my cup of tea yeah i didn't hate it though i just didn't like it <laughs> so yes yeah, versace arrows perfume edp so the next fragrance that i 
got rid of is Bulgari Omnia Crystalline. Um, it was musky as well. I can't remember exactly what it smells like. I, I have an idea of what it smells like in my head, but I can't like describe it to y'all. So let me actually look up this fragrance on Fragrantica so I can tell you what they say it smells like. <laughs> Oh, and this was the EDT I got, I think. Yeah, I, I purchased the, the Eau de Toilette. And so the main chords I'm figuring to cook for this fragrance are Woody Green Floral Musky and Aquatic. Yeah, that's what I got. The muskiness and the aquatic vibe that it had is what I got mainly on my skin. And on my skin, it kind of smelled like You know how they say some fragrances smell like cleaning products? That one actually kind of smelled like a cleaning product on my skin. And I'm for granted because they're saying it has like a soft projection, but on my skin it was heavy, like it projected a lot. I don't know what notes my skin honed in on and maybe have this huge projection. But yeah, I was walking around smelling like a cleaning product. So I couldn't, I had to get rid of it. Um, I didn't hate the scent. It was another one of those scents that I didn't hate. I just didn't like it on me. So yeah, that was Bulgari Omnia Crystalline Eau de Toilette. And the last one I'm gonna talk about, I believe, is this the last one? Oh, I got, I have two more, not one. Okay, so the first one, or the second to last one I'm gonna talk about here is Angel of Sucre by Mugler. And I believe I had the 2017 edition. I'll try to put a picture of it on the screen as well. Um, I, that's a sense that, the fragrance of that, well, the sense of that fragrance, I actually enjoyed, but not on my skin. Um, it's like immediately as soon as I sprayed it on my skin, it became sour, like a sour milk type of fragrance. And it was not, it was not appealing at all. It was, it was a no. It was a no on my skin. It has a lemon, well not lemon, I think it's just meringue notes. I feel like that meringue notes because it's kind of like, this meringue is like whipped. Um, I think they use egg whites, but I feel like that note on my skin is kind of what made it turn sour on me and it made me feel nauseous, so. It had to go. So yeah, that's Alien, not Alien, Angel O's to Cray by Mugler. And the last one I'm going to be talking about is Ellie Saab Le Parfum Rose Couture. This is the fragrance I liked. Um, I did like it, but the patchouli note in it was too strong for me. Um, I'm finding more and more, the more fragrances that I try out or where I'm finding that I am having more of an aversion to patchouli. I don't dislike patchouli as a note, but it's like, it's one of those notes that it just can't be uh, too prominent in a fragrance. It can't be at the forefront because if it is, I won't enjoy it. So I have to be careful when I'm um, buying fragrances that have a patchouli note. It needs to be voted to be like, you know, almost non-existent in the fragrance or fragrance to go for me to be like, okay, I guess I can safely blind by that fragrance. But yeah, the patchouli note in Ellie Saab Rose Couture bothered me. When I first sprayed it, I immediately smelled the patchouli and it settled a bit when it dried on my skin, but it was still there. And I could still tell that it was there and I just did not enjoy that. I was looking for more of that candied like jammy rose type scents. I wanted more caramel and I wanted more um, rose and the fruit notes that are in the fragrance. I wanted more of those notes as opposed to the patchouli heavy fragrance that I got on my skin. It was only slightly sweet and it was really light. It had like a soft projection on me anyway and you guys know I, I like my fragrance to project more than that. So that didn't help either on top of the fact that it smelled like patchouli <laughs> and it wasn't like um uh dirty 
patchouli, not like wet soil. It was more of like a green patchouli nut. I don't really enjoy either of those patchoulis. I'm fine of. So yeah, I, I got rid of that one too. But yeah, that was the last fragrance. Um, like I said in the beginning of the video, I am not trying to offend anyone with these um, fragrances that I have, as you guys saw or heard. <laughs> I actually like the majority of these. I just don't love them and would not have purchased them had I tested them beforehand. So if you love these fragrances, then that is awesome. I'm sure they smell great on you, but on me, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't get with them or they're just not my faves. So yeah, that is it. Let me know down in the comments any fragrances that you guys have that everyone else seems to love that you don't quite enjoy or not even that you have the fragrance but you've tried it out and you found that it's just not one of your favorites and it's not something you can get with it but yeah thank you guys for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and also while you're commenting the fragrances that you don't like let me know what videos you guys want to see from me next that would be really helpful I have um a list of ideas that i want to do for fragrance content but i, I kind of want to see what you guys want to see so just let me know down in the comments and yeah i will see you guys in my next one bye